Eldham County is one of those school districts. Students will have to wait a little bit longer to get back into the classroom. The school board voted unanimously to move the first day of school back from August 12th to August 24th. Teachers will go back to school and back to work on the 20th. All the breaks will stay the same. And despite the date change, several parents are still frustrated about the back to school options that they had to choose from. But this choice being offered to parents is an unfair game of poker. You're calling parents bluffs. We either accept unsafe in-person classes or we accept a substandard virtual learning academy and neither is acceptable. Superintendent Greg Schultz says the goal is to reopen safely, but there are still questions the board doesn't know the answers to. He says they need at least another week or two, and that is why they push that first day of school back. And since the board approved moving the first day of class back from August 12th to August 24th, that gives the district more time to fill staff vacancies, clean buildings, and keep an eye on COVID-19 cases in the community. We have Rose McBride, who is joining us live now from Odom County. Now, Rose, we know the new date. What are the changes? Hey, Kristen. Yeah, I've been monitoring districts kind of throughout our area about their back to school plans and everyone is doing things a little bit different in Oldham County. Parents and students have two options, either going back to traditional school or doing a virtual learning academy. There's a lot going on. We're trying to we're trying to be proactive and think of everything that we can possibly do every scenario. Opening the school district during a pandemic is no easy task. I can't even tell you how many hours we are putting in every day on weekends to make this work. Oldham County is finalizing its back to school plan for the fall. So far, about 1,200 students of the district's 12,500 have registered for the Virtual Learning Academy. Those students will do their classwork from home with a flexible schedule. We have some students who are compromised that um, their parents do not want them to return for in-person instruction. We have some that just aren't comfortable. We have some that don't want to wear the mask all day. Director of Communications Lori McDowell believes more students will register for the virtual option in the next few weeks. She says it's important to have options. Virtual learning works for some, but not all. And some kids rely on the support they receive by physically going to school. McDowell says the district has been walking through a student's day in an effort to think of every possible scenario. Okay, well, is there a way that we can make this look better? Is there a, little, a way that we can make this safer? Leading up to the school year, we'll be previewing what different school districts in both Kentucky and Indiana are preparing to do to go back to school. Tomorrow, we will be talking about Greater Clark County Schools as the district begins its first day of classes tomorrow. In Oldham County, Rose McBride, WHS 11 News.